Hika, hika, hika. Hi, everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying your lovely day. So in this following tutorial, I'm going to be teach you on how to fix transparency issues inside of PMX Editor. Now, for this case of Tess Chan, as you can see, something's a little funny with her face right now. And this is not normal. So, if you get an issue where you see something on your model that basically is supposed to be sort of, you know, transparent or see-through, and you're noticing some weird issues like this or something related, you might be wondering, how do you fix this issue? Well, there's actually a fix for that. When it comes to PMX Editor, anything that is semi-alpha, transparent, or anything like that, anything that has to deal with um, alpha, basically, um, must be at the bottom of this list. So as you can see in the materials list, which I will go ahead and expand here, we have the Roid uh, material names here. And basically, these... Um, these materials here, the eye extra, the highlights, the eyes, the hair, these are all semi-transparent materials and they have alpha, you know, they basically in the texture of the file, there is, you know, an alpha to it and you can even load the images to GIMP or Photoshop and you can see for yourself. But in order to fix this, we need to have the materials that are transparent at the bottom of the list. So make sure you select all your materials that are transparent and press the B button here for bottom. Once you do that, your um, transparent issues should be fixed. And also I recommend please disable any shadows when it comes to uh, your transparent meshes because you do not need shadows for the transparent stuff. It can look pretty ugly. Um, so just keep that in mind. I also recommend depending on the model, you may want to have double sided with it. Otherwise you don't have to have it. It just depends on the model. But either way though, that's pretty much how you can fix the transparency issues and just fixing just uh, any weird issues. I will also say as well, keep in mind too that they also have to follow a hierarchy. Basically, whichever material is most front of the, um, whichever transparent material is in the most front of the avatar, they must be at the absolute bottom and anything that is farther in the back must go in that order. So this will be the far front and then it goes back and so on basically. Um, depending, it, again, it depends on the model, but just keep that in mind in case you see some weird stuff. Like if your blush looks really weird, like there's a weird white outlines on it, it's probably because it's in the wrong order. You may want to switch around to see if it'll fix it. But that's pretty much how you fix transparency issues inside PMX Editor. If you have any other questions, please let me know. Um, I'll leave my socials down below in case you want to further contact me regarding any 3D assistance. And I hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.